hello everyone and welcome back to my channel today we are going to know how to create the firebase and also how to integrate the firebase in your react native uh, project so first we are going to the browser so this is my browser just search react native firebase so this is the official documentation of the react native firebase so there are some uh, uh, pre-required things so first they say you should have a a project also the environment of the react native you should have the second it say uh, create a new project in firebase console so just click on this and come here and now just uh, i want to change my email so this is my console and just uh, get start with the project just type your project name and continue and press continue and also select your uh, default account of firebase select create the project so it will take a 30 second uh, to create your project in firebase console so this is my project i already run my project and also uh, i have designed the project also so we will go and cover the every topic in the firebase like a login and authentication notifications and uh, cloud messages whatever in firebase so this is my project and we will cover uh, every topics in the firebase so this is the series for the firebase so let's see uh, my project is completely uh, ready to use just press on the continue so this is the ui of the firebase so now we are going to create the firebase for the android first just click on the android so now uh, it needs uh, the android package name or bundle id uh, it's required the bundle id so how you can find the bundle id in your react native just come to your android and app src and build or griddle so there is a default config so this is the default config this is the bundle id of your application i want to change also this bundle id so i want to change the bundle id like uh, i don't want to use the so this is the my bundle id just copy your bundle id and save it and come here and paste and just click on the register your app so now uh, just click on the next do not do anything in here just click on the next and continue so now we are going to create the bundle id for the ios also just come here to the ios and just we have already copied our um, bundle id i will also show you how to change your bundle id in ios also just copy your bundle id uh, click on next do not do anything in here just uh, press on next and next and just uh, click on the continue so now we need to set up our projects for the ios also and android also just click on the, your project and click on the setting so first we, are, we if you want to open the cloud messages like a push notification just click on the cloud messages and manage in services and then you just click on this just uh, press on the keys and add the keys create a json file So this is your server key for the cloud messages let me close this again so we enable the cloud messages also so now we are going to add the p add file so just click on the upload here so if you don't have an apple developer account we have some limitation for using the firebase like a push notification we don't have access to use the push notification and also apple uh, sign in so we just uh, we don't have that thing so just skip if you have you have the apple developer account just create your certificate and then uh, just uh, download your p8 file and just upload it enter your key id also and the team id and then upload it so this is the setup for the ios so now we are going to do the android setup also just come here and just click on your android project and we need to uh, add the sha how to get your sha key just come to your react native firebase and there is a command and it says cd ios and just copy this and come here in your project and cdio ios and sign up report so it will so it will generate your uh, 
SHA key also. So this is my SHA key. Just copy your SHA key from here and just come to your uh, project console. Just come to your Firebase console and paste, save. Now we are going to add the SHA key 256 also. Just copy this. Also do not copy the space also. If you copy the space, it will show the error. And just save it. So this SHA key I already use in another project. So for that reason, it's showing the uh, warning. So leave it this. So this is the setup for the Android and iOS. So now we are going to download our Google services file. Just click on this. So it will download your Google services and also click on the iOS folder and click on this. So it will also download the Google service. Info Palace is for the iOS and JSON is for the Android. So now we are going to the our React Native Firebase page again and just come here and we have some uh, installation parts. So just uh, install this library also in your project. So let me clear this. So let uh, wait for this to install the library. So we install our library. So now we are going to uh, set up for the Android first. So for the Android, so now we don't, we already download the, our Google services file also. So now we are going to add our Google services file, uh, to the Android app and Google services. So just come here and Android app. So just, uh, go to your downloads. So this is my downloads. So just, uh, so just paste it Android app and Google services, Android app and google service file add this let me show you again android app and you can find your google services file in here so just paste it in there and now we are going to add some other commands uh, it's saying uh, build.gradle so we are going to add this command and build.gradle so we are going to the like uh, i'd say app android build.gradle so just go uh, just click on your android folder and build.gradle and just uh, paste it in here dependency and inside the dependency and just save it just save it and so now we are going to add this command also so android app build or gradle so just come here android app and build or gradle so this is our build or gradle in the top of that we now we are going to add this command So this is the setup for the Android. So now we are going to the uh, setup for the iOS. So just come here. So first we should download the Google uh, Playlist file. So we, we already download the Google Playlist file. So, so now we are going to open our project in the Xcode. So how to open the project in your Xcode? Just close the all folder. Click on the iOS. Reveal on Finder. Just click on this and open your workspace. Just click on this. So this is my workspace. So now we are going to add the Google service info file. So just come here and click on your project and then uh, add the file to the your project name. So you need to add the file also just uh, see uh, where is the file. So we have in the downloads just come here and just search the Google file. So this is my the Google info file just add it. So now we are going to select the project name. Just uh, select your project name and just click on the finish. So we add the Google service file also in our project. So now we are going to change our bundle ID also. Just click on your uh, Google service file. And there's, uh, so you can see bundle ID. We can see the bundle ID. Just copy your bundle ID and also click in your project again. Just click on the sign in and capability and come here to the bundle uh, identifier. Just Control A and paste it. So, so it will change our bundle ID and our whole project. So now we are going to the browser. Just come here. We already done these things. So now we are going to add this command also. So now we are going to add some command also appdelegate.mm. Uh, if you have using the uh, old version of the react native so you have app delegate.m if you are using the new version of the react native you can find the app delegate.mm we are going to just copy this and just come to your uh, visual studio and close all the folders 
click on this and otp verification just click on your project name uh, you can find app delegate.mm so this is your app delegate.mm just click on this and the uh, in the top just paste on this is my import firebase just paste in there and save now we are going to add another command so now we are going to add this command also uh, fire app configure so in bool application just come here so we have this is our bool application inside there so just come here and paste it and save so now we are going to add the command in the port file just come here and copy this command and come here your project click on your ios pro folder and go to the your port file So it say uh, right uh, right before the reuse react native so just come here so in here we can paste our command i uh, use react native before this command we can paste our use framework linking also and inside the target also now we are going to add this command also just come here and just paste it uh, so we add the command in the our port file also uh, so just uh, scroll down and come here so now we are going to run our android project just uh, copy this and come here and just paste it so let's see uh, first we are going to run our android project Android project is run. So now we are going to run uh, iOS also. For the iOS, we need to sudo iOS and just copy this command. So it will install the port also in our iOS folder. So now we are going to run our iOS also. Just come here, yarn iOS. Let's see. So if you face some error while installing the app, so it means you have done uh, wrong configuration. So just kindly check your all configuration and just uh, follow the steps and there is nothing else. So our iOS also run completely. So uh, our iOS and Android both are completely run. So now we are going to check is our firebase is working or not we have some command for that just going to i'm going to the my login page so this is my uh, login page so let me close all the things and here so first i will import the firebase from the react native firebase and uh, then i will create the use effect and then console copy initialize the firebase app uh, if I get the zeros, it means your Firebase configuration is not done. If I get the one, so it means your Firebase configuration is completely done. So Firebase dot apps dot length. Just save it. So let's see our in terminal. So see, uh, we can get the Firebase one. So it means our Firebase is completely uh, working in both devices. Let me show you. Uh, let me close the uh, iOS also only i will check in the android first so let me let me close all the things so first i will check in an android so you see we can get the one value our firebase is connected now i will so now i'm going to open the ios let's see if i get the one or not so this see I get the one value so it means our firebase is integrated in android and ios both so in this video we cover how to create the firebase and also how to integrate your firebase and your react native project in the next video i will show you how to use the firebase authentication uh, facebook login google login and also cloud messaging 
and other thing so see you in next video for now bye bye